black made the original flag. The black represents the people, the yellow represents the sun, and the red represents the red earth. I think we have done some wonderful work in what is our response to reconciliation, but there's much more to be done, and we all need to stand up and take a position and act on that position. I'm a Yankajara descendant, uh, people from the western deserts of South Australia, and I have lived and worked on Wurundjeri country for a very long time. I work at Mary Health in the Victims Assistance Program. I'm also a proud non jury man. To me, reconciliation is all about learning and celebrating Aboriginal culture. Reconciliation to me means um, acknowledging my ancestors, uh, celebrating the fact that one arm of my family tree has been embedded in this country for thousands of years. It's something I tell my children uh, to be proud of and it's quite mind-blowing actually, but it gives me a sense of really belonging to Australia. The reason why reconciliation is important to me is because it helps recognise that sovereignty was never superseded. It also allows us to reflect on our own standing within the community and ensure that we're allowed with the space for Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal relationships to thrive. Something that you can do uh, yourself, uh, with your family, with your own community, is explore the rich Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture. Um, think about where you are when you're walking on country, whose country it was. In order to promote reconciliation, there's some things that you can do in your own life to help Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people out. The first one is to recognise the traditional custodians of the land that you're on. Right now, I'm on the lands of the Boron people of the Kulin Nation. And what I like to do is to ask the traditional custodians stories about the land, what it is, what it meant, and what were the most, what were culturally significant places within the region that I'm in. Mean. 